everyone, my name is Katie and I'm the elementary instructional technologist for, um, for our school district here at PBT, here at PBT ISD. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you the teacher side of ST Math. ST Math is one of our new math curriculum programs for the elementary campuses and I think most, if not everybody, has gotten started using it. So I wanted to show you some things to look for on your teacher side of ST Math. One thing that I really like about ST Math is that it has all of the objectives laid out. So every student starts on a math journey with Gigi. Um, Gigi is the penguin that is in ST Math. And they all start on a journey through the grade level content. Every kid starts out on every kid starts out on the same level, but they all might start to progress at different rates. Um, under the objectives tab on your teacher dashboard, it's going to show you what concepts each puzzle is testing. And I've gotten questions from a lot of teachers. They're like, I don't know what to do. There's no instructions in this game. Like, what are my kids? doing? What are they learning? And so you can find all of that on the objectives. Now, it is designed to take your students through all of the grade level content that you will be teaching. It is tied to the TEKS and those objectives should line up nicely with all of your math lessons. Now you will also see an option for assignments. However, you don't necessarily need to give your students assignments. The puzzles that they will encounter in the grade level content is great for all students. However, if you do happen to notice that some of your students are struggling with math concepts, that might be a good idea to give them some extra assignments to help them um, do more puzzles over that concept. And also, if you have students that are doing very well and you want to give them some more challenging puzzles, you can assign them harder puzzles. However, those are just two ends of the extreme. Uh, most of the students should be just fine progressing through the math journey. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about what student progress looks like. On your teacher dashboard, when you click, it's gonna show you your class. Now this class is your rostered class or the classes you have on your rosters in Frontline. And they should have all of your students on there automatically from that roster. And when you click on the very first tab, you're gonna see each student's name and then you're also gonna see something called minutes and puzzles. Now ST Math has some recommended goals for how many minutes your students should be in the program each week and also the amount of puzzles they will collect. So for each level that they complete, they get puzzles. And let me tell you what those goals are. For kindergarten through first, it is recommended about 60 minutes a week and 25 to 65 puzzles. Through, for second through fifth grade, it is recommended 90 minutes a week with 35 to 95 puzzles. And now when you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're gonna get all of that information right on your teacher dashboard. The one thing that I do really like is that it gives you a recommended range. So you don't have to feel like you have to hit that specific 60 minutes, 90 minutes every week. There is some variability in there. By looking at the minutes and puzzles, that is a really good gauge to see how your students are progressing through the program. You can also see it on the objective side as a whole. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is those dots. So what are those dots? You may notice that not only on your teacher dashboard, but also when the students are playing ST Math, you may see some dots on the upper right hand side of the screen and this and this is telling you that that student has tried this level so many times and they have not gotten past it now after they have attempted it at least nine or ten times you're going to get an alert on the dashboard and that alert will tell you that this student has not been able to get past this level so one thing that I would recommend is that you can work with those students and look to see is it 
do they understand are they not understanding those concepts like do they need some extra sh support on those objectives or, or do they just not know exactly what to do in that level and if you click on the alert you're going to see a box that says enable unlimited ggs so if you enable this feature it just gives your students an unlimited amount of tries you may consider doing that while you're working with them and then when you know that they understand those concepts you can help them to move on now the last thing that I want to talk about is the professional development courses that are in STMath. So on your STMath account, you access your teacher's side through your class link. When you log into your class links, click on Gigi the Penguin, just like your students do. However, it's going to take you right into your teacher dashboard. Now at the very top, there is um, a tab that has courses in it. When you click on that, you're going to get two courses. One is getting started. And I think most of us have already worked through the getting started part. But the second part is the one that if you have some time, you should definitely look through it because it has got resources for monitoring students, um, what to do with the reports, looking at the data. And also it walks you through the whole problem solving process. And I have had some teachers say to me, um, there's no directions like I don't know what to do like what are the kids doing so this gives you a breakdown of what the game is trying to get how is how this gives you a breakdown of how the game is trying to get the students to engage with the content and there is a whole process there is even uh, resources for grade level you can pull these resources up and you can show the kids step by step what they're going to be doing in the game before they even do it that way you don't have to just let them go on ST math, hope that they make some progress and you have no idea what they're doing. Um, the resources and the information is all there. And the very last thing that I want to say to you all is we have a lot of new stuff this year, um, new curriculum, new programs, new technology, and you don't have to figure it out alone. Um, that's why you have me and also my colleague, Emily Turner. Uh, we're here to support you with new technology, new programs. You don't have to do it alone. You don't have to figure it out all by yourself. Um, click on the link to my calendar to make an appointment with me. I'm more than happy to come and chat with you on your conference, do some trainings during your conference periods, or come into your class and help um, set up a technology station for this program. Whatever you need help or support, you do not have to go about it alone. Um, thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions at all, please send me an email or click the link on my calendar to book an appointment. Bye! Thank you.